What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back again with yet another sneaker video. Hopefully you're having a great day wherever you are in the universe. As you can see by the title, we about to talk about some upcoming releases that caught my eye. Want to get your thoughts and opinions, so let me know that of course in the comment section below. If you happen to enjoy this video at all, make sure you smash the like button, share the video so more people can see this. And if you happen to be new or you're not subscribed, make sure you do so and hit the notification bell to be updated every time I drop a video video you dig let's get to the shoes first we have a new nike air max 97 this colorway is pretty dope it's unique and it's coming out for 170 in the coming weeks on nike.com black mesh blue mesh with a little bit of the volt green neon green if you will with 3m reflective stripes on the shoe i really like the 97s when they have 3m on the upper it gives it a whole new light once the light hits it let me know what you guys think about this colorway at all if this is something that you guys would try to cop hopefully it goes a little bit cheaper but 170 is not bad let me know your thoughts down below up next, we have the Nike Air Max 90 Camo Green set to release May 15th for 140, which is a pretty dope price point. I'm curious to see if these will do numbers and if these will have a resale value. Duck Camo, Ghost Green, Volt Green with the mesh camouflage all around the shoe. I think this shoe is pretty unique. I like it from a one to 10 score. I give it a solid eight, maybe even a nine. I would love to see this in person. Let me know if this is something that you will see yourself rushing to go ahead and pick up from the store or nike.com, depending on where you're located. I think this shoe is pretty nice. I can't wait to see it in person. Next, we have a fire colorway of an oldie but a goodie, the Nike Air Trainer 3. This colorway is pretty unique. We've seen some other colorways that have dropped recently. Let me know what you guys think about this maroon with the yellow, the gray on the Nike strap. I think this might look even better in person. From a one to 10, I give this a solid seven and a half, eight. I think it might look even better in person. It really depends on the type of materials that are on the upper, but it's definitely something to take a look at and see what's going on. I don't know if I wanna buy it from online. I think I'd rather see it in store first but give me your thoughts and opinions on these i think they're solid though now this shoe we spoke about it before but now we actually have a release date of the nike air penny 5 the dolphins alternate colorway may 2020 actually for 160 so no official date but it's supposed to drop sometime in may this colorway is unique when i talked about it before it got a really good response so if you're new or if you've seen it before just give me your feedback in this video if this is something that you think you might pick up the penny 5 is pretty dope and unique i'm a fan of the penny 5 i have a couple colorways let me know what you guys think about them in the comment section below Another shoe that we talked about that now has an official release date is the Air Jordan 6 Hair, releasing June 5th for 190. Give me your overall thoughts and opinions on this shoe and if it's a cop or pass for you. Pan homage, obviously the same colorway as the Air Jordan 7 Hair. It features white leather overlays, gray underlays, a translucent tongue with the iconic hair print, a carrot themed lace lock to complete the printed inner lining and insole, which is pretty sick. This colorway looks pretty unique and I'm curious to see what it looks like in person if you're going after this shoe let me know in the comment section if you own the jordan 7 hairs let me know that also in the comment section from a 1 to 10 scale i get these about a solid 8 can't wait to actually see these things in person are you gonna cop these or what Next, we have the Air Jordan 1 Low Sweater. Let me know what you guys think about these. Of course, we already have the Air Jordan 7 ones. Now, this one also features the print from the shirt and short combination that Jordan was wearing during the 92 Barcelona Olympics. Pretty dope and unique. Let me know what you guys think about these overall. I see them trying a lot of things with the Jordan 1 Lows. Have any one of them caught your eye? From a one to 10 score, it looks like it's a solid seven, but I think the materials might be plush. We have to wait and see what's gonna happen with that. Up next, dressed in white, laser orange, cement gray, and black color scheme, the Air Jordan 3 features a white leather upper paired with a cement gray elephant print overlays and a vibrant orange accent. Kind of looks more yellow than orange to me, but it is called the Air Jordan 3 Laser Orange. Set to release July 2020 for 190 bucks via Nike.com. Let me know what you guys think about these overall. Once I saw these on my timeline on Instagram, I definitely want to talk about them because I'm pretty sure people are feeling them. Let me know what you guys think about them from a 1 to 10 score. For me, I would give these probably a solid 7 and a half, 8. Every time I see Jordans that are mostly white, especially the 3s, I'd be iffy, but when I see them in person, they look a lot more cleaner. Let me know your overall overall thoughts and if this is a shoe you guys will be going after. 
Then we got some Air Jordan 4 University Blue, AKA the poor man's Travis Scott. Let me know what you guys think about these. Supposedly drop in early 2020 for 190 bucks. I'm not mad at this colorway at all. With the shoe like it is, I give it a solid eight. If the materials are plush, it's gonna be a nine. And if I'm able to get one of my homies, my new friends who are customizers to make that white, black by the mid so i think i might cop these bro let me know what you guys think about that and if you guys would add any different flavors to the shoes man now that we're seeing so many people do their own flavors and customize shoes there's just endless amounts of what you can do and that's easy ways to make that a travis scott for yourself if you don't have the travis scott yourself i wouldn't even mind doing that bro let me know if that's something you would do and what do you guys rate these from a one to ten score i give these a solid like i said eight starting off you dig this next shoe indeed has some good news and bad news. The good news is this is a new LeBron 17 South Beach colorway. Yes, a South Beach colorway. But the bad part is that this is a GSIs only. I'm like, why would they do that? South Beach thing with LeBron shoes go hand in hand. So why would they give us a 17 with the South Beach colorways and not make it available for everybody? Let me know what you guys think about these overall. I hope they come out with a South Beach that's a little bit better more darker i like the green i like the color scheme but i feel like this is more kiddish to me maybe that's why they're gs sizes but if these same ones right here dropped in adult sizes would you cop what do you guys rate those from a one to ten score i think i'll give these a solid maybe six and a half seven i wish it just was a little bit more i think if it was an adult size it would have that little more i'm looking for maybe a little bit more boldness on the upper or just the midsole might stand out more right here it looks nice but it looks kind of plain but give me your thoughts and opinions because that's mine if you guys are going to try to cop this for your little one let me know and also if it wasn't a men's size would you guys cop it let me know next we have the nike react phantom run fly knit 2 that is kind of a long name and if you say it more than five times in a row it might be a tongue twister but let me know what you guys think about this shoe overall just by the first look you know this edition arrives in the black red orbit green spark and white color blocking the nike react phantom run fly knit 2 offers versatility for the everyday runner building up a foundation of its predecessor the shoe expands on its lacing design adding a secure support that feels like it actually disappears on your foot let me know what you guys think about this colorway and style and design it's pretty unique to me i love the color combination and i can't wait to actually see these in hand they will be available soon during spring 2020 for 180 on nike.com let me know if you guys are copping it you dig and adding to the collection, the off-white Nike Air Rubber Dunk is set to release another colorway spring 2020 for $180. Also, let me know what you guys think about this colorway. It definitely caught my eye when I scrolled and saw this, I believe, on Sneaker Bar Detroit. It's pretty crazy, the Carolina blue with the gum out. So I like the color combination of this shoe a little bit better than the previous ones that are set to release also. Let me know what you guys think about this. What do you guys rate it from a one to 10? And if you guys are gonna cop for me, I give this a solid eight and a half. Maybe look even better in person, but I wanna hear what you guys think. Back to another classic. Now, if you know me and you follow the channel, you know that 97 Air Maxes as well as 98s are kind of my favorite Air Maxes out the bunch, followed by 95s. This one is pretty dope. I like the colorways, the gray, the crimson red, and the teal with the white all through it. Pretty dope. A lace swap would definitely do these shoes really justice. Let me know what you guys think about these overall and, and if this is something you would add to your collection. If I found them at the outlet for the low, I probably would try to cop, but for retail, I'm just passing on them. But I want to know your overall overall thoughts and opinions if you guys would cop or pass if you dig stand with classic shoes that are coming back coming back strong we have yet another reebok question low the modern beige this colorway is pretty unique man only 120 no set release date but as soon as i find out i will bring it back up in another sneaker news video but give me your overall thoughts and opinions just by the look majority all beige what i believe that orange i think that's a pretty dope it's a vivid orange i think it's going to stand out a lot the materials on these lows looking like they're pretty dope and i've seen a lot of people talk about them and a lot of people are are really feeling the Reebok question lows. Let me know if you're one of those people and what do you guys rate this from a one to 10 score? I'll give these a solid seven and a half. I can't wait to see them in person, you dig? 
yet again so many dope shoes to look forward to out of everything that you guys have seen in this video let me know which one you guys are looking most forward to which ones you gotta have which ones are a straight pass of course all the feedback and energy is warranted and needed in the comment section below if you did happen to like this video or liked any shoe in this video do me that big favor and hit the like button it's very important it helps with the youtube algorithms such and so on if you are not subscribed and you're new to the channel make sure you're subscribed hit the notification bell to be updated every single time i upload content which is pretty much daily i'm very consistent on this channel if you are new without further ado bro i'm about to get out of here enjoy the rest of your day and your time stay safe take care of your own ones and uh, i'll see you on the next video deuces